Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm in Cambridge to go and stay at a travel lodge, but not just any travel lodge. This is reasonably new, but it also has got super rooms. And that's what a lot of people have said, go and check them out. And why are the rooms super? According to the website, to enhance your stay, your super room will have a Levancy Modo Mio coffee machine, a hang scroll, I don't know if I've said this right, rain dance three jet adjustable shower, a choice of firm or soft hypoallergenic pillows, blackout curtains, a 32 inch Samsung Freeview TV, a in-room hair dryer, iron, ironing board. Yeah, and that's it. Wow, that really does sound super. Is it worth the extra price? Which I will tell you at the end. Come on, let's go in. I think it's quite busy in here today. A lot of people checking in. <laughs> yeah. Just while I wait to check in, check out the, the bar area, which is pretty cool for a travel lodge. This is huge. Look at that, an office lamp, but big style. Full floor, right at the top. Squeaky lift. Welcome to the full floor super rooms this way. It's that way. Now there's a sign you don't see every day. Caution, robotic cleaners in operation. There's none going at the minute. 447 I'm in. These are pretty wide corridors or is it just me? They're like super wide. I think I'm right at the end. Well, how super are these super rooms? I'm gonna find out. Come on. Well, straight away, they look completely different. So apparently you do get an extra comfy bed with USB charging on the side, plug sockets. You normally get these on a, a travel lodge, don't you? Just turn them on. Wow, super bright. Is that a light? Where do we turn that on? More controls here, there's a bed headlight. Oh, that's that one. And then the main room lights. Oh, we can make it nice and cozy. Let's turn that on. Reading light. This is a very nice room and very different to the usual travel lodge that I'm used to. Look at the bed, look. It's almost like it's floating. Look at all that space underneath. This kind of looks like it's new carpet. Now this is one of the big selling points of these super rooms, that you get a chair and a cushion. Very nice. Shame there is only one, considering this is a double bedroom. So I guess who Ever you're here with, well, you have to fight for it, don't you? So my little workstation here with a chair that pulls out, office chair. It's quite stained, actually. But this is the selling point. You get a Levanza coffee machine, which doesn't look like it's been used in a while. In fact, that looks dusty on there. We've got a kettle. This one actually is in a pretty bad state. A couple of cups. Thai food tea, no frills, so it is just literally just coffee and then milk for that Levanza. But to be honest, because it looks a little bit, looks a little bit grimy and it does look like it hasn't been used in a while, I might actually give that a miss. Am I seeing things? I've got complimentary Kit Kats. Well, that's worth paying the extra. Look at that. You get two Kit Kats. It's quite nice this is on a, a little wooden tray as well so this doesn't get damaged reading light which is nice and bright i like the localized pictures on the wall you don't normally get this in uh, in a travel lodge as i'm saying in cambridge a little bit of a, a map of cambridge and what's my view like as i look out over the cambridge is really around the other direction i'm surprised by the electric heating you thought they would have been upgraded these are like the uh, quite old travel lodge heaters, aren't they? 
And I bet you, as soon as I turn this on, how do I work it? Menu. Eight degrees. <laughs> I don't think this is air conditioning. Okay, I'll try and figure that out, but that's probably going to smell when that goes on. Not overly a big TV, but still pretty nice size for the bed, which we will check out in a moment. You pay extra for this hair dryer. This is a Corby hair dryer. Wow, this has had some use. Melted on there. So let's check out the bathroom. On the website, it said that this is a rain dance three jet adjustable shower. To be honest, it looks like a standard travel lodge bathroom that's very plasticky, but this is the shower head that looks a little bit. Some of the hotels I've been to recently, they do like to polish this. This isn't polished though. So that's normal. So if I press this, And I press it again. Is that all it does? Okay, I guess that would be a nice massage. Obviously, I know this is here for safety reasons, but it doesn't overly look that nice, does it? Minimalistic sink, it's clean. And I hope they've changed their shower gels because personally, I don't know if you stayed in a travel lodge recently, but the, the shower gel and the body wash I don't like the smell, they're not very nice. I'm just noticing the bathroom actually, nice big thick white fluffy towels, a hand towel and a, a shower towel as well. It always makes me feel a travel lodge toilet, a bit like a porter cabin. This is being in a super room, it is I guess a little bit better. Okay, I'm gonna check out the bed in just a moment. But before I do that, I wanted to share a little bit of footage with you. This is not my first time in a super room. I also stayed in one last night with Gabby in this same hotel, and I wasn't impressed. It certainly didn't look as good as this. As you can see by the footage, the wall was really damaged. The bathroom felt really grimy to me. In fact, it did feel like a port kind of bathroom. I just had a shower and it just feels dirty because the shower curtain has got all mold on it. And the handle's missing on that, look. The towels also smelt. The room felt really grubby. This room, compared to the room that I had just last night, is miles better. But the bed in the other room was really comfy. I haven't normally been a fan of Travel Lodge, but the beds in these super rooms I think they might even be better than Premier in beds. They are super comfy. Now the pillows are supposed to be hypoallergenic, the kind of pillows that I'm not a big fan of where your head really sinks in there. I'd prefer a firmer pillow. Maybe I can go downstairs and request that. Over here is my wardrobe. I've got some hangers. I've got a fan. So there's no air conditioning in this room. I've got a trusty Corby. I didn't know they still make irons. Another did trouser presses. A little mini ironing board. Love the colorful artwork as well on the wall. And the carpet almost does, I say almost, looks brand new. And into the bathroom, looks pretty nice as well. Although, how I notice everything, that's somebody's nail down there. I tell you what, if I was doing this review last night, it wouldn't be worth calling it a super room. I'm gonna try out the breakfast in the morning because so many people say, oh, you should try out the breakfast. I always find it way too pricey. But for you guys, I'm gonna try the breakfast at Travel Lodge. I have tried the breakfast at Premier Inns and actually think it's rubbish. Um, so I will find out if the ultimate breakfast here at the Travel Lodge is any good. So I'll see you in the morning. Bye night. Good morning. So the time was around about half past eight that I went down to breakfast. It wasn't overly busy. Normally that time of the day is actually at its busiest. It cost $8.99 and there was a big selection on display. I love how they had it all covered compared to most places that just leave it under the hot plates and just leave it open. There was also a nice selection of cereal, pancakes and bagels, which was a nice touch. And I like how all the cups were laid out for tea. But I couldn't film any longer than that because I was asked to stop filming. And um, not sure why, um, there wasn't really many people in there, but I couldn't film myself having breakfast. But it was nice, but $8.99 compared to the Premier Inns and everything else, I don't know, is it that good value? It is all you can eat, but still, it is on the pricey side, isn't it? 
So the night before last, I did have problems in my room. I wasn't very happy with it at all. It felt dirty, it felt old, and it didn't feel super. However, this room was absolutely brilliant. I would definitely stay in a super room again. The bed was nice, but it was a little bit on the firm side, and there was an issue with the heater as well. I couldn't really get it warm enough in the room, so I was a little bit cold during the night. And it's got on-site parking, which has cost me eight pounds. And literally, if you don't register your number plate within 15 minutes, it will fine you. So you've got to do it quick. If you want to see me review more budget hotels, do let me know in the comments or click here or here to see a few more.